Hey everyone, this is Daniel Kaiser here in Montreal and I'm talking about the science of games. Today we've got Ivan from Thwack and I want to talk to you about Dishonored, which is one of my favorite games in recent memory. And it implemented the really neat technology, the blink mechanic that allowed you to teleport over short distances. So let's talk about teleportation. What is the reality of something like that over short distances and ultimately maybe over longer distances as well? Well, the Zonar used blinks as just transporting from one place to a short distance, around a few meters. It's interesting because it's not properly teleportation the way that we usually understand teleportation because if you have an object, if you have an obstacle in the path you're going through, you can't pass through, you're gonna hit that obstacle. You can use that in the game to hit a character or hit an enemy if you're moving really fast. So it seems that in Dishonor, the teleportation, the blink stuff, is more like moving really fast. If you're talking about teleportation in one of the standard way, like Star Trek, you're actually beaming up from one place and going to another place. And the question is, how are you gonna do that? For example, how are you gonna zoom in on each one of your atoms and know exactly what it's doing and what is the composition? If you can do that, then how are you gonna just take it out from you and then transport it somewhere else? You're made by a, a really, really big amount of atoms. If you have to scan each one of them really fast, imagine the amount of information you're gonna have to save. That's gonna be huge. And then you have the problem also of transporting all this information all the way up. In the sense of Star Trek, or even Dishonored, if this is teleportation it is, you're not, you're not that close. But the science is really cool about that because we can transport some stuff right now, at least part of information on short distances. There is a kind of phenomenon called entanglement, where you can, uh, you can get two particles really close together, you can entangle them, entangle them, that's a quantum mechanics phenomenon, and then you can take them apart in a really special way. If you move one particle on one side, the other one on the other side is gonna turn exactly on the opposite side. So right now there is technology that at least suggests that the breaking down of atoms and, and being able to uh, transport them might be feasible. Exactly. You can transport information from one atom for a really, uh, for a kind of a long distance. I think we're around five kilometers right now to another distance, or another point in space, doing teleportation. Wow. So it's not out of the blue. It's not only sci-fi, but to do in Star Trek way or the Blink way, it's not feasible right now. What would be the function of teleportation in real life? Well, the scientists are pursuing that. Not exactly in the way to transport people or transport stuff but in a way to study quantum mechanics. There's a lot of properties you can do in quantum mechanics trying to understand the system and trying to understand the behavioral atoms where this kind of phenomenon is really important. But imagine if you have teleportation. It will be a major breakthrough everywhere. We don't have to drive cars, we don't have to do anything. You can just beam up from one place to another one. Mm -hmm. There will break a lot of changes for the way we know stuff, yeah. that's for sure. It would really change the world. Well, we appreciate the information on teleportation. It's a fascinating subject. For the latest on Science of Games, you can head online to GameTrailers.com.